welcome to the session in this session i am going to talk about photovoltaic cells and their applications photovoltaic cell or solar cell a photovoltaic cell is a semiconductor device which consists of a large area of pn junction diode and in presence of sunlight the device is capable of generating electrical energy which we can put to use so these devices have a large area of pn junction diode and they can convert the sunlight into electrical energy this conversion process is called as photo photoelectric effect and this area of research which is related to the solar cells is called as photovoltaics the devices are called photovoltaic cells the concept is photoelectric effect and the field of research is called as photovoltaics a photovoltaic cell made up of silicon that consists of a very thin wafer which in turn consists of an ultra thin layer of phosphorus doped n type silicon and a top layer top thick layer of boron doped p type silicon these two layers are present in the thin wafer and th these thin wafers are present in the photovoltaic cell which is made up of silicon and the junction where the the top surface of the photovoltaic cell where the two materials i mean p type silicon and n type silicon are in contact that is called as pn junction and at this area at the pn junction electrical field will be created when sunlight strikes the surface of the photovoltaic cell the electrical field which is present at the junction of the two materials p type silicon and n type silicon will provide momentum and also direction to the light stimulated electrons the electrons which are present in the n type silicon you can see in the picture this is a n type silicon semiconductor this is a p type silicon semiconductor and this is the pn junction diode this is the area where the two types of silicon meet and this is called as a pn junction diode and here electrical field will be created and when light strikes the photovoltaic cell the electrons which are present in the n type silicon they will be driven by the electrical field this electrical field that will provide momentum and also direction to the light stimulated electrons the electrons will flow through the electrical load here if we apply an electrical load the electrons will flow through the load and they will reach the p type silicon semiconductor so a typical photovoltaic cell made up of silicon that will provide 0.5 to 0.6 volts of direct current especially under open circuit no load conditions so when no load is applied we will be getting 0.5 to 0.6 volts and the current output of a photovoltaic cell depends on three factors the first one is the efficiency of the photovoltaic cell the second one is the surface area of the photovoltaic cell if the surface area of the photovoltaic cell is more and we will be getting more current and the third factor is the intensity of the sunlight intensity of the sunlight striking the photovoltaic cell so the current output of the of a photovoltaic cell depends on the efficiency of the photovoltaic cell surface area of the photovoltaic cell and also the intensity of the sunlight striking the photovoltaic cell as we are getting electric uh, electrical current here the voltage is uh, provided by the electrical field we are getting both current and voltage the combination of these two is the power and uh, when we apply an elect, uh, external load we will be getting the power continuously as long as the 
sunlight strikes the photovoltaic cell this is how photovoltaic cell works and this is the construction of photovoltaic cell next topic is applications of photovoltaic cells photovoltaic cells they find applications in various fields let us discuss some of the applications of photovoltaic cells first one solar farms photovoltaic panels they are installed in many acres of land they form solar farms you can see in the picture this is a solar farm it was spread over many acres and this produces a lot of power generally the electricity produced by a solar farm that ranges from tens of megawatts to a gigawatt this is one application of photovoltaic cells next one is the remote locations photovoltaic cells are extensively used in remote locations like remote villages remote homes etc as we cannot extend the power lines to remote areas extending power lines to remote areas is is costly it is not convenient and it is not possible also in some cases so in such cases photovoltaic cells are the best alternative power sources for example in remote villages you can see the picture the thatched houses are fixed with photovoltaic cells this is a solar panel consisting of photovoltaic cells this provides power so th this is one application in rural villages or rural homes and another application is lighthouses so lighthouses generally they are very tall and it is uh, impossible for us to extend power to the lighthouses so photovoltaic cells are the best alternatives here you can see in the picture this is a lighthouse and this is a solar panel which supplies the power to the lighthouse this is another application of a photovoltaic cells next one is next application is offshore oil platforms you can see in the picture this is a oil platform oil rig which is installed in the ocean here we cannot extend the power lines to this oil rig so here we use solar panels so this is a solar panel and this side also we have a solar panel this supplies power to the oil rig next application is desalination plants this is a model of the desalination plant so for uh, purifying water we use uh, desalination plants so this is a desalination plant here we have a number of solar panels which supply power to the desalination plant as uh, power is required at all times for desalination plants so solar panels are being used here for the power next application is health clinics so in the remote areas or remote villages where electricity through power lines is impossible their clinics they run with power supplied by the photovoltaic cells you can see in the picture this is a clinic and the roof of the clinic that is fitted with the solar panels which supply power these are some applications of photovoltaic cells in remote locations another application of photovoltaic cells we find in stand alone power parking meters this is a parking meter which runs with the photovoltaic cells you can see the solar panel on the top of the parking meter this parking meter gives information about the parking area which is used and which is free another application is uh, temporary traffic signs this is a temporary tra traffic sign and uh, it runs with the power produced by the solar panel here and you can see this is also a parking area 
so this is a vast parking area where the roof or the top surface is fitted with a large number of solar panels which supply power another application is mobile phones or emergency phones you can see in the picture this is a, a mobile phone or cell phone and on the back side of the mobile phone you can see the solar panel this is the solar panel and this supplies power to the mobile phone next one is uh, transmitters radio transmitters this is uh, a cell tower and this is also a uh, transmitter these also run with uh, photovoltaic cells next application is uh, water pumps generally water pumps they run with the power supplied by transmission lines but uh, in remote villages or in mountain areas or hilly areas uh, their solar panels uh, they supply power to the water pumps you can see in the picture this is a water pump and uh, the solar panels which are installed nearby they supply power to the water pump next application is uh, stream gauge this is a stream gauge and this is uh, used to know the water level of the streams and for monitoring purpose these are installed in many numbers these also run with photovoltaic cells another application is lighting for roadways you can see in the picture the road is well lit with the with the lights which run with the solar panels another application of photovoltaic cells is earth orbiting satellites so satellites which revolve around the earth or which revolve around the planets other planets they run with solar panels you can see in the picture this is a satellite which is revolving around the earth and this gets power with the solar panels the with these solar panels this is another application of photovoltaic cells photovoltaic cells are also used for building related needs you can see in the picture this is a tiled house and its roof is fixed with a number of solar panels these solar panels they supply power to the houses solar panels are also fixed to the windows they are also fixed to the roof tiles they are also fixed to the cladding okay so fixing this one we have two advantages in addition to power they also provide shading so photovoltaic cells in this case they serve as for a dual purpose next application is transportation in transportation also we use photovoltaic cells cars and boats they are fixed with solar panels you can see in the picture the car is fixed with a solar panel on the top surface and here also this is a solar panel and this supplies a power to the car not only in cars in boats also we use photovoltaic cells this is a very wide solar panel this is fixed to the boat and this supplies a power to the boat this is another application of photovoltaic cell in transportation next photovoltaic cells are also used for military purposes because of flexibility and lightweight photovoltaic cells are extensively used for military purposes for charging electronic equipment so these are some applications of photovoltaic cells photovoltaic cells are extensively used in solar farms in remote locations like remote villages remote homes remote clinics and they are also used for a stand alone power like parking meters temporary traffic signs etc these are also used in earth orbiting satellites for building related needs in military operations and also for transportation